This is Yuri. Today, Akira san will show you how to slice aji, a horse mackerel. We will do sanmai oroshi, a basic filleting method which can be applied to many fishes. Usually, at sushi restaurant, we do sebiraki instead, but as fillet 101, we will show you sanmai biraki first. First, let's get rid of zeigo. It's a long and spiky scale that runs all the way from head to tail. Grip aji firmly. Work your knife from tail to head. The point is to move the knife vigorously up and down. Turn it around and do the same thing. You might have scraped the flesh off a little, but no worries, this can't really be helped. Let's take the scale out. Again, start from the tail in direction to head. Gently. It's a little difficult to scrape scales around the fin, so use the edge of your blade. Now we will drop the head off. It's called kamashita otoshi. Here is the ventral fin, or in Japanese, harabire, a belly fin. You aim from this part, from here to there, right behind the chest fin. We call it munabire. We cut it diagonally like this, and show you in a close-up now. There are still a leftover scale around the belly, so make sure to take this out too. Again, with the edge of your blade. Now a little gooey and graphic part. Grab a spoon or knife, fork, whatever. Use the stem. Rotate it 360 and scrape out the guts. Also, there's a bloody part stuck around the belly bone, so make sure to scrape it off very well and get rid of this too. I know, it's not the easiest thing to do. I've never done it either. But as the fish starts to deteriorate from the blood and innards, it's very important to get rid of all the guts. As we've been washing it for a long time, Ashi is starting to whiten in color. Washing using a lightly salted ice water will bring back Aji's colors and glossiness. <laughs> okay, so chuck in those Aji into the ice water and give it a quick stir. About 20 seconds to 30 seconds will be good enough. See how the colors are much brighter now? Now wipe off the water with the kitchen paper. The best season for aji can depend on where it's caught, but it's between spring to summer, April to August. Aji during this time of the year has a tight meat and just the right amount of fattiness. Having said that, delicious aji is caught all year round, that's why aji is said to be the most popular fish in Japan. Let's slice into upper half the body from the top. This is the back side. First of all, just slice the skin. No need to cut in deeply yet. In the next slice, knife should go deep down. You will feel the backbone with the blade, so that's the sign. Flip it around to the belly side. This part used to be where the guts were, it's empty now so cut this open. Then from the end of the tail, slice the skin, same as before in the next slice is cut and deeper. Insert the knife, now carefully move your knife up until the joint of the tail and body. Turn your knife around, hold the tail, then slice it at once. Cut up the top half of the tail, then you should have one piece of beautiful fillet. Yeah, that was so fast, Akira-san! Sorry! Okay, let's take a look at it once again. What we have left now is a fillet with bones on. We will now debone this. 
The procedure is completely the same as what Akira-san has done just now. This time, you're slicing in your knife right above the bones. You should be able to feel this and even hear the sound of blade hitting the bones. Okay, finally Sanmai Oroshi is done, Yay! but because we are using this for sushi and sashimi, we have to take away the belly bone. Last but not least, let's get rid of all the small bones. At sushi restaurant, we call this kobone or chiai bone. Here we use bone tweezer, but if you don't have them at home, just sanitize your tweezer that you use to pluck your eyebrow. That works too. I personally think Ashi plays an important role in the world of sushi and it's hard to dismiss that. First of all, it's inexpensive. Not all sushi ingredients have to be expensive. I personally like Ashi the most and I think Akira-san should appreciate me for this. Secondly, it's pretty. Shiny blue gloss that runs along Aji's body is very attractive and it adds vibrance to the dish. Thirdly, it works well with different kind of condiments. It gives a nice change from just using wasabi. Shoga, grated ginger, and negi, spring onions, works particularly well. Lastly, you can enjoy not only by eating it raw, but also by sujime, pickling with vinegar. It lasts longer, and tastes great. Although I mentioned that Aji is inexpensive, there are some Aji that cost as high as 3,000 yen distributed in Japan. But you can find fresh and delicious Aji even at a local supermarket with just a few tips from Akira-san, our Aji connoisseur. Tip number one, Aji should have a clear and limpid eyes. Tip number two, the meat should be nice and firm. Tip number three, don't pick something that's too big and pick the ones with no scars on. Tip number four, rather than a slim, supermodel, BMI 17 figure, it's always better to be bootylicious. And always try to find one with a smaller head or at least something that looks like it has a small head. This is a sign that it has a plump and round figure. Now let them catch up on their beauty sleep in the fridge. Lay them in a container, have a little futon mattress ready to soak up any excess water. Place the fillet, skin side up. Now kitchen paper duvet on. <laughs> Sweet dreams! Ashi can be too fresh, so letting them rest for at least overnight to mature, the flavor and texture will be sublime. In our next episode, we will show you how to make a sashimi dish, tataki dish, and sushi dish out of this beautiful aji we just prepared. So stay tuned! Thank, Thank you and arigatou! See you in the next video!